Y'all, the Wayans family is Hollywood royalty. Hollywood royalty, if you don't know what it looked like, look no further than the Wayans family. Seriously, when I think about Keenan Ivy Wayans, Damon Wayans, Kim Wayans, Sean Wayans, Marlon Wayans, and I think about all the movies, <clears throat> excuse me, the TV shows that came from these individuals, like some of my favorite memories in movies come from stuff that they've created. You know what I mean? Like they, they like the Jacksons of the comedy world. And they've been the brilliant minds behind a lot of things that's been stolen from them. You know what I mean? Like scary movie and all of that. that, that all of that stuff was their ideas. Stuff that they drafted and put together and brought to life on screen. Like my earliest memories of a movie, for real, Mo Money. I remember watching Mo Money as a little kid. My mama, this is back in the day when they would have, you know, the bootleg, <laughs> bootleg tapes, right? And you would have several movies on one tape. And so we had a tape that had Mo, Mo Money, uh, Made in America, that movie with uh, Will Smith, Nia Long, Whoopi Goldberg, Ted Danson, uh, Baby Kids, and Mo Money. All three of these movies was on one tape, right? And we would watch, me and my sister would watch Mo Money and thought it was hilarious. Y'all remember nothing but the black, nothing but the black. Old girl hollering, see more, see more, pay your fare. Comb your hair. <laughs> All of that, right? And I'm like, yo, I used to love this movie. Then I'm thinking about even um, um, Don't Be a Menace. Like, that parody movie, that was the first parody movie I ever saw in my life. And I remember dying laughing at it because I just was like, yo, this is crazy that this is a movie and this is something like, <laughs> like you could just watch on a regular basis. It was hilarious to me, right? Then I'm thinking about movies like Above the Rim. Me and my cousin that played basketball, he loved that movie. Well, that was his favorite movie growing up. And I think about Boogaloo. Boogaloo was a name that my uncle gave my little cousin. He was a girl, but he called it Boogaloo, right? And he called it that just after the character on um, Above the Rim. So my whole life, I've been surrounded by Wayans Brothers in one way or another. Wayans Brothers content, right? Watching The Sixth Man. You know what I mean? Watching, I remember watching Scary Movie for the first time with my brother. God rest his soul. My brother's, my one of my older brothers is deceased. I remember watching it with my brother and my cousin at Hooped in West Virginia, right? Um, and it was like in the winter time we watched this movie. My auntie had made us some chili, and I remember really eating that chili, getting down and watching this movie, even though I shouldn't have been watching Scary Movie at that age. And I'm in there dying laughing at the stuff that I'm seeing and hearing and all of that. I'm sitting there with my brother and my cousin and we in here just, it's, it's hysterical to us. You know what I mean? Then as I'm getting older, I'm watching rerun, reruns of, um, um, golly, whatever, In Living Color, In Living Color. And I'm watching all the people that they put on from this, from this movie, In Living Color. I mean, not from the movie, from the TV show, Jim Carrey. Uh, Tommy Davidson, you had uh, Jamie Foxx, um, um, David Allen Greer, all these different individuals that got put on from this TV show, uh, Jennifer Lopez, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> this family is absolutely brilliant. Then I'm thinking about Joanna Man. Joanna Man, <laughs> I got a homegirl named Joanna, and we used to be, <laughs> we used to well call her Joanna Man, even though she don't look nothing like no man. They was just being silly, right? Because her name was Joanna. And this, I went to go see Joanna Man at the show. That's what we call it in Chicago. But of course, the movie theaters. And Kim Wans was hilarious in there, right? Um, I'm thinking about li movies like Little Man. Man, I remember. <laughs> My sister that would be watching that over and over again, right? White Chicks, so classic. It got so many quotables from that movie. Like, people love that movie so much. It gets talked about over and over again. It's, it's a movie that got a cult following. And, again, like, <laughs> what's that movie? What's that? Making My Way. That song, Making My Way Downtown, Walking Fast. What's the name of that dang old song? If I could just... See you. Was that Vanessa Carlton? A Thousand Miles. Vanessa Carlton, A Thousand Miles. That song, I mean, it didn't get popular, but within the black community, it became something that people would really sing and quote a lot after watching White Chicks. You know what I mean? Then even I'm going to get you sucker. 
I thought that movie would <laughs> when my man step on the bullet and then shoot and he kill himself, <laughs> shoot himself up as he slip and fall on the bullet. All of that, right? Then when the girl take all like she she got everything on fake, take a fake leg off, fake booty off, fake arm off. It was crazy for all the fake hair off. It, it was that stuff was hilarious to me as a kid. Um then when I think about Keenan Ivy wins, right? I think about all the stuff he didn't wrote on. He was a writer on Hollywood Shuffle, a writer for Eddie Murphy Raw, in um, Living Color, of course. I'm going to get you, sucker. A low oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How the hell can I forget about a low-down, dirty shame? Bruh, like, my auntie, this one, my auntie was living in, this is the first time I saw the movie. My auntie was living in a Robert Taylor project housing, right? Uh, 5100, building 5100. My auntie was, like, on, like, the 15th floor at the time. And um, we watched this movie, and all I could think, Wayman, <laughs> Wayman, <laughs> Peaches, Wayman. Oh, Sally Richardson was in there. She finer than frog hair. Boy, what? I like, man, who is this woman here? As a little boy, like, yo, who is old girl? Because old girl, old girl colder than a bit of baby mama. She colder than penguin piss. Who, who is this woman here? But anyway, um... Yeah, low down, dirty shame. Uh, Jada Pinkett, like that—that that is a a hood classic where people talk about that movie all the time and references reference it a lot. Yeah, I mean, again, he wrote on. Um, now he was a producer on Don't Be a Menace. Um, again, Scary Movie One, Scary Movie Two, um, Dance Flick, all, and he uh, wrote an episode, wrote on an episode for the last OG. Which stars, um, what's my man name? Um, Tracy Morgan, right? And I think that show is absolutely hilarious. It's Tracy Morgan and um, Tiffany Haddish. I think the show is uh, super hilarious. But then Damon wins. Um, Damon had um, Major Pain. You had, um, dang, what on? Look Who's Talking To. Uh, Bamboozled. Um, I'm looking at some of the stuff right now. Um, yeah, man, it just uh, like with the great white hype, the great white hype. All these are blank, blank man, bro. <laughs> like, who think of stuff like that, blank man? That is just, that is just, it's just crazy. Some might, some might say it's outlandish, but it's just super hysterical, man. And um, this family, like I said, has produced some of the funniest content I've ever seen in my life. You got uh, even Marlon was in Norbit, and y'all know how much black folks. Like black folks love Norbit. I that movie, man. I'm telling you, my son's mother can quote that movie from front to back. She can quote it from front to back. She watched it so much growing up. She know that movie like the back of her hand. And I will start watching it more because she would be watching it. Um, I mean, Mar Marlon had a haunted house, haunted house two, the sex tuplets movie that came out in 2019. Um. Yeah, man, just all these different... Uh, oh, the, he was in the Lady Killers. Um, and I mentioned the scary movie films, man. But yeah, when you talk about a family that has done it all, Damon, stand-up comedy, dope. Marlon uh, eventually got into stand-up comedy. For, and, uh, hold on, wait a minute, man. The Wayans Brothers TV show. The Wayans Brothers TV show, man. Like That is one of the funniest shows I've ever seen in my life. And as an adult, again, certain shows age, age well. The Wayans Brothers age well as a show. The comedic genius and the comedic timing uh, of John Witherspoon, the way he would be able to, to again, he would, he would bounce right off of they funny and be funnier than them and have all these great moments in it. Like, man, <laughs> don't tell nobody. Shh. <laughs> All of that, right? And then Pops be dancing, pop, 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 do the sugar, pop. He be in there dan dancing like a mod. Like, you like, man, what is this? This is like, this man, they are, they are hilarious. They crazy. I will never forget the episode when Sean was trying to start an escort service, right? And um, he was like, I got to think of a name of it, right? And then Marlon say, I got it, I got it, I got it. Sean's hoes. Right, <laughs> and he said, "No, no, no! It got to be some classy. It got to be some classy, Sean. I mean, got to be some classy, Marlon. It got to be some classy." Then Pop say, "Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Sean's 
whores. <laughs> and I just thought that was comical, man. Like, what this, again, just certain things you can't just make up, man. Um, um, what other, uh, what I was about to say, man. Um, oh, my wife and kids with Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans, Tisha Campbell. That is a classic show. Show that was nominated for a whole lot of awards, rightfully so. My grandmother did not like watch a whole lot of newer sitcom shows, but she loved God rest her soul. She loved my wife and kids. Like when I would go over her house and be over there on the weekends or go over there with my dad and pop in over there, checking in on her in the evening time, she'd be eating her food, watching my wife and kids with my auntie. And that was a show that they all enjoyed and laughed at and thought was really great. And it was again, a great show. How long did my wife and kids run for? I feel like it ran for a nice amount of seasons. Um, let's see. My wife and kids. Oh, Forrest West, two from 2001 to 2005, right? I feel like it ran longer than that, to be honest with you. But yeah, like, even the Kim was on a different world. Um, Damon was on there. I believe Keenan was on a different world in the first season as well. So yeah, um... They had the Lethal Weapon TV series. I never watched it, but, um, you know. Oh, Wayne Head, bro. Wayne Head. Y'all remember the cartoon Wayne Head? The boy had the, the, the hat that stuck on the corner of his head with the dang on big old boot, the club foot. <laughs> like, boy, y'all don't remember. I was watching Wayne Head eating cereal at my grandma's house because my granddaddy never bought Frosted Flakes. He would only buy Corn Flakes. We had to pour all the sugar up in there. And if we had, I put so much sugar in man, I see a pocket of sugar at the edge of the spoon. I wasn't satisfied until I saw that pocket of sugar on the spoon. That's how I knew I was going to eat uh, some sweet cornflakes and not some regular cornflakes, man. But the Wayans family is iconic, man. Salute to them. Salute to them. 